Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So in this video, we will talk about top 17 JavaScript interview questions. So you must have basic knowledge in JavaScript language. Okay, otherwise this video will not help you. So this video is for beginners and as well as experienced candidate also. First, understand the what is JavaScript. Okay, so introduction to JavaScript. JavaScript was developed by Random Edge in 1995, which appeared in Netscape, a popular browser of that time. The language was initially called LiveScript and was later renamed JavaScript. In the beginning, JavaScript called as LiveScript. Okay, and after that, they renamed the in JavaScript. There are many programmers who think that JavaScript and Java are the same, but in fact, JavaScript and java are very much unrelated okay so these two languages are totally different both are not same so java is very complex language or complex programming language whereas javascript is only a scripting language the syntax of javascript is mostly influenced by the programming language of c okay so what is javascript so javascript is a lightweight interpreted programming language with object oriented capabilities that allows you to build interactivity into otherwise static html pages the next point is it is widely used for client-side validation the javascript translator embedded in the browser so actually the translator is already embedded into the browser the uh, translator is responsible for translating the javascript code for the web browser so this is the little bit about the javascript second question is what are the features of javascript javascript is a lightweight interpreted programming language javascript is designed for creating network centric applications javascript is a complementary to and integrated with java javascript is complementary to and integrated with html and javascript is an open source and cross clip so we can use javascript in any language with any language with html okay so the next question is what are the advantages of javascript so actually these are the javascript is very and very popular language and most important in the web application the first advantage of javascript is lesser server interaction so you can validate user input before sending to the page up to the server so before sending to the server you can validate the data of the user so this saves server traffic which means less load on your browser okay so immediate feedback to the visitors they don't have to wait for a page reload to see if they have forgotten to enter something or not we will get the immediate feedback this is the advantage increase interactivity you can create interfaces that react when the user overs over them with the mouse or activates them by the keyboard okay so next point is richer interfaces you can use javascript to include such items as drag and drop components and sliders to give a rich interface to your Right, visitors so the fourth question is what is the purpose of this operator in javascript okay so the javascript this keyword refers to the object it belongs to okay so it refers to the current object actually okay this has different values depending on where it is used okay so this is the most important point this has different values depending on where it is used in a method this refers to the owner object and in a function this refers to the global object okay this is the most important thing here. okay now we'll move to the fifth question so what is closure give an example so closure is a very important question for the experience candidate closure are created whenever a variable that is defined outside the current object okay and current scope is accessed from within some inner scope it gives you access to an outer function scope from an inner function okay in javascript closure are created every time a function is created to use a closure simply define a function inside another function and expose it so we can see here we have created one function number sum so i am passing two parameter here number one number and num two so 
here you can see one more function is available function sum so it will return num this value this is the local variable and we can see this is the parameter to and these two parameter i am using inside this function okay so when i will expose it we will get the output okay as 15 plus and this 15 and the sum of this 30 35 plus 15 okay so this is the closure if you want the video of this closure i will i will separate create one video for this i will ask this in the i button so you can give you your feedback or your opinion so when if you need that i will create move to the sixth question what is the difference between view state and session state okay so view state is specific to a page in session whereas session state is specific to a user or browser that can be accessed across all pages in the web application okay so now next question is how to read and write a file using javascript so file files can be read and written by using javascript function so we are having three functions here f open f read f write okay so there are two ways to do it using javascript extension runs from javascript editor or using a web pages and active x objects internet explorer only okay so this is for internet explorer only so the function f open takes two parameters so first one is first path and second is mode okay so zero for reading third for writing okay so the f open function return minus one if the file is successfully opened then it will return minus one okay we can see one example here file is equal to f open get script by path okay so here we are passing one parameter another parameter is zero okay so the next one is the function f read is used for reading the file content so we can use this like that str is equal to f read this is the file f len okay and here the file okay so f function f write the function f write is used to write the contents to the file okay so for writing the content then we are using f write function so f write we can use like a file is equal to f open so this is for open open the file or writing for the writing f write we can use f write for writing the here the str is the content that is to be written into the okay so moving to the next question so next question is what is the difference between operators double equal and here triple equal? okay so this is the most important question so the main difference between this one and this one so double equal and triple equal i will say double equal and triple equal because you can understand better operators is that formally compares variable by making type correction so actually this is used for the type correction whereas it is not checking the type okay so we can see the example if you compare a number with a string so we are having suppose a number like uh, one and we are having a, uh, a string suppose interview point okay so one and interview point are not uh, not same so it will we if we will compare then we can use that same so this is not same so okay and if you compare a number with a string with numeric literals allow that okay suppose we are having a uh, integer number and that is uh, int uh, suppose a is equal to one and we are having a one string uh, we are taking one c sub example so a string and if we are a string str and that is a uh, one okay so that if we will compare that will allow here okay but it doesn't allow because integer and string both but here the best thing is here it will check the type okay so string and integer both are the type different so it will not allow so but triple equal doesn't allow that because it not only checks the values but also type of two variable if two variables are not of the same type triple equal returns false while double equal returns true okay this is the main difference in double equal and triple equal operator okay so the next question is explain windows dot on load and on document dot ready okay so on document ready so this is also very important question the on load function is not run until all the information on the page is loaded okay this is the very important the on load function is not run until all the information on the page is loaded okay so it will load after the all the page 
information loaded okay this leads to a substantial delay before any code is executed okay on document ready loads the code just after the dom is loaded this allows early manipulation of the code okay so next question is what is the use of void so this is also very important the void is used to prevent the page from refreshing and parameter zero is passed while calling okay so when we will call the function we will call zero okay void zero is used to call another method without refreshing the page okay when we want to call another function or another method at that time we will call that void function but without refreshing the page okay like a java uh, ajax function okay so the next question is explain what is pop method in javascript so this is very important pop so the pop method is similar as the shift method if you know the shift method what shift method will do it will remove the shift method method will remove the first um, first uh, first value of the suppose this is the array element and th this is the first value so the shift method will remove this value first one and the pop method will remove the last value okay so that is the most important thing in pop method so the pop method is similar as the shift method but the difference is that the shift method work at the start of the array also the pop method take the last element of the given array and returns it okay the array on which is called is then altered okay so we can see one example here wear clothes so we are having shirt pant and t-shirt so we are calling that clothes dot pop okay so we are getting the pop we are using pop function here so what it will give us it will give shirt and pant so it will remove this last value okay from the array okay so this is the main difference between pop and shift method and so this is the pop method okay so then now move to the next question 12 is javascript case sensitive so this is also very important question so i think you know that yes javascript is a case sensitive language this means that language keywords variable function names and any other identifier must always be typed with a consistent capitalization of letters oh okay so case javascript is a case sensitive mixture okay the next question is why it is not advised to use inner html in javascript actually there is one uh, disadvantage using inner html so you can see here inner html content is refreshed every time and thus is slower so uh, actually that's why it is so slower there is no scope for validation in inner html so this is the uh, disadvantage there is no validation for the inner html and therefore it is easier to insert raw uh, code in the document and thus make the web page unstable so that's why it is not recommended to use inner html so the next question is what is callback so this is also very important a callback is a plain javascript function passed to some method and an argument or option it is a function that is to be executed after another function has finished executing hence the name callback in javascript functions are objects because of this function can take functions as argument and can be returned by other functions okay so what is an event bubbling in javascript so event bubbling is a way of event propagation in the html dom api when an event occurs in an element inside another element and both elements have registered a handle for that event with bubbling the event is first captured and handled by the inner uh, innermost element and then propagated to outer elements okay the execution starts from that element that event and goes to its parent element the inner execution 
passes to its parent element and so on till the body elements okay so this is the event bubbling in javascript okay so next question is what is do what is the use of document object okay so dom is a uh, document dom stand for document object model so this is the full form a document object represents the html document it can be used to access and change the content of html the w3c document object model dom is a platform and language neutral interface that allows pro programs and scripts to dynamically access and update the content structure and style for a document so this is actually a little bit uh, big concept you if you want the dom complete dom uh, video i will make that so the next question is what is the difference between undefined and not defined in javascript so this is very important question so you need to understand what is defined and sorry what is undefined and not defined so in javascript if you try to use a variable that doesn't exist and has not been declared if you haven't declared and that so if you haven't declared it means it is not exist then javascript will throw an error where name is not defined and a script will stop executing okay so however if you use type of undeclared underscore variable then it will return undefined okay so this is the the assignment happens in order so when we try to access a variable that is declared but not defined yet we will get the result undefined so suppose we are cre creating a variable where x so it is the declaration of variable if type of x is equal to triple equal here so it will return undefined will return true okay so it is true because it is not undefined here we have just created and we have not assigned any value to x if a variable that is neither declared or nor defined when we try to refresh such a variable we will we would get the result not de defined okay so we will get the result not defined so we can see here the console.log and y so why we haven't defined here so we will get the result not defined so these are the 17 questions in this video i have filtered for you so i hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video if you have any question and doubt you can ask me through comment and if you want any separate video you can comment me so i will make that video as well okay I hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video guys if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos you can follow me on my facebook page this is the blog url so i will provide you both of the link in the description of this video thank you guys